tree of war formation and syntax is identifying the rules that allow us to combine words. Okay, the main of this course is the relation about the syntax and morphology to um, analyze and show what is the sentence for. Okay, uh, it, uh, it's the main of this course is on the border. One point of tendency between morphology and syntax occurs where morphology has an effect on the argument structure of work. There, are, there has a uh, three uh, issues that relation about uh, morphology and syntax. The first is cletics and the second is phrasal verb and perfect parable perfect and then the last is phrasal component. Let's check it out. Okay, let's start the next discussion about the interface morphology and syntax. There have a kind of the issue about morphology and syntax. It's a clitics, pressal verbs and verbs with parable perfect and pressal compound. The first is clitics. Clitics are a small grammatical element that cannot occur independently and therefore it cannot really be called free morphic. There are two types of clitics are often distinguished. That is a simple clitics and special clitics. Simple clitics as an accented variance of a frame morphem which may be phonologically reduced and subordinate to a neighboring word. In an English form like L and or D as an in sentence are the example of a simple clitics. The verse is I will take the Pastrami, please, and I would like the pastrami, please. In this sentence, L and D are contrasted from of the auxiliary will and will, and they occur just where the independent words will occur following the subject I and before the main verb. The next is a special clitics. Special clitics are phonologically dependent on the host as simple clitics are, but they are not reduced from of independent word. For the example in the French language, there is in here. You can read by yourself in here. We can look that all talks this topic prominence the leaf French is written as a spirited word. Clitics are interests both of syntactically and morphologies precisely because they are a characteristic both of bone morpheme and a syntax. The next is phrasal verb and verb with sparable prefix. Here we can look that phrasal verbs are verbs like those in that consist of a verb in a precession or a part particle. Here you can use you can read by yourself. This is the example, and this is the ex also the example of the two part of phrasal verb can be sometimes must be spirited like his. A similar issue arises with the called as spreadable prefix verbs in Dutch language like this. The next is a phrasal compound. Phrasal compound is a word that is made up of the phrase in the first element and a noun as it is a second element like this example in the Germanic language including English, Dutch, and German like this example in here. Okay, that's the discussion about the interface morphology and syntax. Uh, explanation.